Did you know that you can use Planoly to schedule your Pinterest pins? I've started a bit of a series here on the channel where I'm going through all of the Pinterest approved schedulers and how to use them, as well as reviewing them for use for you so you know if they are gonna be a viable option. So today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use Pinterest and Planoly together to schedule your pins and possibly use a scheduling tool that's not Tailwind. So if you're interested in that, let's dive right on in. Okay, we're starting off this tutorial for Planoly with the signing up portion. So we're actually just gonna sign up with the solo plan. Now, I don't actually see that you get a free trial or anything like that. You have the free as long as you want um, option. Perhaps that's the one we should sign up for. You get 30 uploads per month per profile. And it looks like you can schedule with Pinterest. So let's do the free plan. And then obviously you'll need to input all of your information to sign up. I don't have a referral code. If you have a referral code, you can input that there and then click sign up now. And now we are going to hop in and start a seven day free trial. So it does look like you can actually set up a free trial. So we're gonna do a seven day free trial of the solo plan. That's the plan that I just, I think this is fine for now. You get unlimited uploads on one account and 30 uploads on the second account. So it looks like this would be really good for someone solo managing a very small Instagram presence and a Pinterest account. So we're gonna go ahead and click seven day free trial here. And then obviously we need to set up our billing. So now that we have subscribed to our free trial, we are going to hop right into figuring out how to use this tool. So we're gonna go ahead and see, you see here it says Pinterest partners. We're gonna connect our Pinterest account. We're gonna link Pinterest and Planoly. It's gonna pop up this window and it will have you just sync them together. So we're gonna give access. And then again, you have to tell them who you are and what you do, that way they know. Once you are inside their dashboard, now we're gonna go through another really cool feature with these scheduling tools, again, is the Chrome extension. So it makes it scheduling so much easier. We're gonna go ahead and click add this Chrome extension to our bar. And we will need to pull open the puzzle piece and favorite it. So you actually go into the puzzle piece and click favorite and it'll put it right there in your bar. Now we can unpin later and we are ready to go. Once you have finished signing up for Planoly, you're gonna be greeted with this screen. There's not gonna be anything here, especially if your account is brand new. Now, if you are ready just to dive right in and start scheduling, then you can do this in two ways. I'm gonna explain this the first way with method one and the second way with me method two. Now, method one is simply going to your finished blog post or shop item, installing your Planoly extension, which is right up here at the top is a banner right after you sign up for Planoly that says, hey, download our extension. Go ahead and get that downloaded and then you will be able to come in here and see your Planoly um, content. So if you actually have a problem getting the Planoly button to pop up on your content, you will need to refresh the browser that you're on and then it'll show up here. So we're gonna click plan it. This is gonna pop up a screen and it's not gonna come pre-optimized. So you're actually gonna have to optimize this yourself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into my media library and copy and paste my pre-written pin title and description. The pin URL already came over or the, the content URL. And then we're gonna select the board we want it to go to. Now, one thing here to note is I am not able to easily see whether or not this is a group board or a board I own. So not a group board. So that is one thing that I'm, you're going to want to know what your boards are, if they're group boards or not, especially if you have a lot of group boards on your profile. Now we're going to go ahead and click a scheduled date and we're going to choose that. And then you will see, you can add new custom time slots here if you want to. And you're going to go ahead and click save. Now it's gonna tell you if you're trying to publish it within the next five minutes to, to don't do that. So <laughs> make sure you're choosing a date in the future and then go to your Planoly dashboard and it will be listed in your schedule for you. 
Okay, so we see we have that pin scheduled here. Now that's method number one. Method number two is actually setting up a campaign. So you're gonna go into the campaigns tab. Now campaigns are really nifty with Planoly. I actually really like this feature as long as you are not utilizing the same piece of content over and over, you're actually utilizing fresh pins. So this will allow you to schedule your fresh pins with that minimum of a 30 day interval very easily. This also allows you to schedule and turn on a campaign in advance of a trend happening on the platform. For example, Thanksgiving is coming up. I'm filming this on August 30th. We have Thanksgiving coming up in November here in the United States. So you will be able to go ahead and upload all of your Thanksgiving content, get it in your schedule and have it scheduled out and ready to go before that time even comes. So you have a lot of pre-planning pre capability with this tool, which I really like. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click create campaign and we're gonna name it. So we're ideally we're gonna name it whatever piece of um, content or product. So this one is writing pin titles. And then you're gonna give it a pin title description and a URL. Now, one thing to note, if you create a campaign with this using their feature, campaign building, you are gonna use the same pin title and pin description for every pin that goes out. So it's gonna to go to the same place using the same title and the same description. Now this is really good for A-B testing. So if you have 15 pieces of content for Thanksgiving, you're gonna to need to create 15 campaigns. You cannot just create one campaign and have all of them going, unfortunately. So just know that you're gonna to need to be a little organized and have this stuff done up front so you actually are ready to go when it's time to publish. So let's just pop in our pin title, our pin description, and our pin URL, and we're gonna click next. And it's gonna ask you, when does this campaign need to start? So let's just say we wanted to start this campaign on the 9th, and it's gonna have you go ahead and add any and all of your boards that you want it to go to. So we're gonna do Pinterest strategies, we're gonna use, maybe Pinterest marketing. Now some of these are group boards, so I don't really know which ones are which, unfortunately. And let's just say we want it to go to those five boards. And then we're gonna auto generate times. So this is actually pulling in like a smart time for you. So it's pulling in 1.04 p.m., which doesn't really seem smart, but we can go ahead and auto generate times and then maybe choose alternate some of these. And then we are gonna start adding our content. Now you actually have to upload your content. You can't use the uh, Chrome extension for this, unfortunately. So all of your content for your campaign will need to either be in Dropbox, on your computer, in Google Drive, or there is a feature where you can go ahead and create your images from Canva right inside of the tool which is a nifty feature, but you have to make sure this is slotted into your process. So using Canva inside of Planoly needs to be part of your workflow. Write pin titles, I need to do all my keyword research so I can write my descriptions, and then I need to create my images. But before that, I need to get it set up in Planoly. You can see where it could be a little bit confusing. So you need to make sure that your process is well-defined. This is not how I teach the process inside of Pin Profit Academy or how we do it for clients. We batch do all of our keyword research, then we batch write our titles and descriptions, and then we batch create all of our images. And then from there, we pull our images into our scheduling tool, then we schedule them. So this isn't part of our workflow, so we probably would not use this feature. However, if you're a solopreneur and you're just running your own Pinterest scheduling workflow, then this might be part of yours. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pull in that Pinterest image I already saved to my computer. We're going to click save and it's going to load it in here. Now it's going to automatically, because you already set up your campaign rules, you already set up your title, your description, your URL, it's going to go ahead and add them to your queue. Now, one thing I want you to note 
is your schedule. You don't really want to have more than one time on your calendar per day because you don't want it to go to multiple boards each day. So click save and apply the changes and then you'll notice that your schedule actually gets changed. So it's going each day, so every one day to another board. If you wanted to further stretch out your images, um, so if you wanted to stretch out your scheduling time, then you would simply just come in and say, okay, every Monday at 3.58 is when I want these to go out. So then it's going to change it September 12th and then the next week, the 19th. So this is a seven day interval scheduling system. So it looks like you're pretty limited. You can't actually set up a 30 day interval or even a, th a three, like you could do one day to seven day intervals and that's it. So you would just edit those in inside the schedule. It would go out every Sunday at 3.58 PM. It's not very intuitive. Depending on your market, they may not be online, but that's it. That's how you use the scheduling feature inside of Planoly. Now they do have an analyzed section of their tool where you can look at your audience, how many people are engaged, how many people have clicked on your pins, all of that information. Now I am not familiar, nor do I want to walk you through how this works because I'm not familiar if this tool is only generating a number here if you scheduled with their tool or um, if it's just completely like open, like pulling all your Pinterest analytics in. See, it's saying zero clicks and I'm, I get traffic to my site every month from Pinterest, so this can't be right. So this has to be from the tool. So again, these are just like your basic analytics for Pinterest. If you want to see your Pinterest analytics, I encourage you to look at your Pinterest account. And that's it. That's how you use Planoly for scheduling Pinterest pins in two different ways. All right, now that you are aware of how to use Planoly to schedule your Pinterest pins, if you're interested in signing up for Planoly, you can go to heatherferris.com forward slash Planoly and give it a try today. So that's my affiliate link. If you sign up, I will make a tiny, tiny, tiny little commission. I really think you're gonna like it. I love it. I actually decided to keep Planoly for my own Pinterest scheduling needs. And if you would like to hear my full thoughts on Planoly and the review video that I did, make sure you head right on over here and watch the Pinterest schedulers tutorial, the I tested for Pinterest schedulers so you didn't have to and listen to my full review on Planoly plus the three other scheduling tools that I tried out for you. So that's it for today. I hope to see you next week.